In this lesson, we'll begin a review of PSAT Math Test 2, Section 3, No Calculator, Questions 1 through 4. We know early on in the section these, these questions won't be too difficult. All right, let's take a look at problem 1. Which of the following is equivalent form of the expression 15x plus 24ax? Look at the choices. We know it's not A or B. This is 39. C, we have 5x plus 8ax, and we don't want that. The answer is D here, 15. We distribute the x, x plus 24ax. So pretty straightforward question it is D. All right, let's take a look at question number two. The formula D equals RT is used to calculate the distance an object travels over a period of time T at a constant rate R. Based on the formula, what is rate R in terms of D and T? So here's the formula, and we see this question a lot. We want to solve for R, right? R in terms of, so we isolate R, it's just literally one step. To isolate R, we divide both sides by T, and we get D over T, and that's it. And so the answer for number two is A. All right, let's take a look at question three. Which of the following ordered pairs XY satisfies both equations, Y equals X squared plus three X minus four, and X equals Y minus four? And so we need to get the solutions to solve for them. There's a couple ways to it. I think the best way, you could use substitution, for example, to get both of these equations in forms of one, in, in terms of one variable. For this X, you could plug in Y minus four and solve it. Another way of doing it is get them both equal to Y and then set them equal. And so this one's already equal to Y. So the second equation, I just want to isolate Y. And so just all we're going to do is uh, add four to both sides. And so then we get Y. Right, we get the y by itself equals x plus four. Okay, see how they're both equal to y now? So what I can do is take these two equations and set them equal, it's a true statement. So x squared plus three x minus four equals x plus four. And now I just solve it like a regular equation. And so I'm gonna subtract x from both sides. I get x squared, I get plus two x, and subtracting four from both sides, they get minus eight equals zero. So what are the solutions here? A little bit of factoring here. Two factors of negative eight to get positive two. All right, so four and two looks good, right? Positive four, negative two. So x plus four is a factor, x minus two, right? The product is negative eight, the sum is positive two. So the solutions for x are negative four and two. This is for x. Now, if you look at the choices, there's only one that has two, right? We don't see one with negative four. If you're really confident, I would just stop here and that'd be it. Let's just plug it in and double check. We're gonna plug in two. Here's the equation. We can just use this one, plug in two and we get six. So that works. All right, let's do the last question on this page and we'll do number four. Which of the following is a solution to the equation two x squared plus four x equals three plus three x squared? Similar to the last problem. So what we can do is let's combine the like terms and I don't like to have the negative so I'm gonna bring it over on this side. I'm gonna subtract two x squared and I just get a single x squared. And I'm gonna subtract the four x and the three is already on this side. And so here's our equation. What are the solutions? Let's think about the factors, All right? Two factors of positive three to get negative four. We don't know only factors of, of three are three and one, so it's gotta be x minus three and x minus one, right? The product is positive three, the sum is negative four. So we know three and one is a solution, and they're just asking for a possible solution here. We don't see one, right? We only see three, and so the answer is C.